it's gonna be a good season. I mean, if you like drama and you wanna be entertained, that's exactly what's gonna happen. We are going to be entertained. Hopefully, someone finds like true, real love because in other seasons, I haven't heard anybody except for Riva and Mario have made it and they uh, didn't even, weren't even together at the end of the show. So my hope this year is that while we're being entertained, someone actually finds real true love. What's up? How you doing, Ray of Sunshines? I am your girl, Talisa Ray, lifestyle coach, and we are reviewing Ready to Love, season number three, episode number two, Last Resort. You know what? I was like, how didn't you know last resort is a play on words? Like, as if this is their last resort for love because of course they're 30 and up. Well, we know that, that not to be true. But the play on words is cute and I don't know how I missed it last episode. Listen, if it's your first time visiting my channel, you surely would want to click the subscribe button to become a ray of sunshine because you're going to want to be here with us every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, whichever day this is uploaded. So you'll also have to hit that notification bell. Now, we know that the first night is the probably one of the toughest nights because now you're out here kind of trying to introduce yourself, trying to put your best foot forward, trying to find balance between what information to share and how much is too much to share and do they like me and is I have to have my hair the right way and my dress the right way for women and men. I have to make sure that I'm swaggy and I'm dapper and I'm confident. I mean, it's a lot that goes into first impressions and that is what this whole meet and greet first night, first day is all about. So let's just see how these uh, hopefuls have done. So they all come in honey and i kind of feel like when you're the first one in and the last one the first one in or the last one in you have the benefit the first one gets to see everybody as they come in you kind of get like a bird's eye view the last one all eyes are on you okay look at me here i am here i am here i am okay strut look watch see that's probably why adriana felt the way that she did because she's the youngest in the group at 31 she was like, I could have any man I want and a lot of men like younger women and I'm younger. I was like, Adriana, honey, come with all the confidence. But I'm going to tell you the truth. The women in their 40s, we give you a run for your money. Uh, so don't get too cocky about being young and 31 and virile and viral and virile and, 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 you know, youthful and shit. Listen, we will give you a run for your money because we have been somewhere, know a few things that you have yet to learn. Baby, let me tell you, humble yourself real quick. Anyway, so Calfani had said something about like red flags jealousy is his the red flags okay so joy comes in and she's talking and uh here comes edwin dapper edwin okay something about edwin that i like and it might be that salt and pepper hair i have a thing for men with salt and pepper hair and so when he comes in he gets to talking and he's all dapper and shit and i'm all like yes and she like yes especially when he says I am a chef, okay? Cause you know, he's like, I know that women like to eat more than we do. I am a chef. Um, looks like the green eyed monster came out on Calfani. Like, you just gonna come show me up. If that's your red flag, sir, why are you exhibiting that? Now also, I might be all over the place because nobody is coupled up yet. And so I'm just going by what I remember, a couple of notes I jotted down and we see the goddess herself walks in. I thought, you know, I was the goddess, you're a goddess. But honey, she said, I got goddess energy, Miss Winter walks in and she's all like, listen, everybody sees me. And as such, she pulls Kelfani away. Like I'm a big flirt. I'm all like, come on Winter and, and, and pull them. You want to join me? I said, uh-huh. Yeah, go girl. Like, we're, we are not here to play games. Let your feminine wiles out. I loved it. Okay, that, I see why you guys like winter. Honestly, I haven't really formed an opinion about who I really like. 
give me a couple episodes. But Winter, I like her, how she exudes femininity, right? And is using it to her advantage with that beautiful orange dress on and that blonde shortcut. Honey, they're not ready for her, okay? Listen, she has not come to play, okay? So, Denise. Denise, Denise, Denise. We like Denise. Denise is the track coach. However, Denise has a certain kind of energy that she's bringing with her. Could seem, could be a little forward and aggressive at first. Um, you know, she even tells you she comes, she's a lot because she's 5'10. She's got, she's got a 5'10 mouth and heart and just she tells you that she's a lot and it takes a particular kind of man that uh, she deals with now or to handle her. Now I can see that she likes an alpha man, uh, a man that takes charge. And with that, we have to be careful that we don't mistake confidence or we don't mistake ma uh, manipulation and narcissism for confidence, which can happen, which can end you in a toxic relationship. So I think when we put out that kind of energy that we need a certain type of man, we're going to get a certain type of man. And sometimes our eyes are not as open as they should be so that we can get the right kind, right? I like an alpha man, but I don't like a man that's egotistical. I don't like a man that is full of himself. I want a man that's confident and, uh, that can enter a room and everybody, not because he looks good, but because his energy enters and says, I command it like me. Okay. Y'all I'm talking too much. Chris in this suit. Okay, I like the suit. I told y'all I like the little fuchsia suit, as Tommy said, flamingo colored suit. But that damn open chest, I don't like it. And I don't like men that got that pink right there on their lips. Because that comes from drinking and from smoking and those that, oh, look at that nail. Uh, and those, that is what I know just from being in the hood. Now, I could, be, I could be wrong. It could be a condition. It just could be what it is. But men that smoke. And men that drink too much, like have an alcohol problem, so her right here is pink. So I wonder what's up with that. Am I grasping at straws? I don't think so. Simone, darling, aren't you beautiful? Honey, she comes in with the energy of a lawyer. Very, very much so assertive, very much so direct. And I know what I want and who I want. And I need to actually ask all you mofos questions because I'm not playing no games. It's a sausage fest and I am famished, okay? <laughs> okay, Simone girl, we watching you. So then Tommy comes and he's all like, welcome. And y'all know one of y'all gotta go. One woman, one man have to go. So make your best impression, get to get to get to knowing each other, start mingling because y'all gonna get voted off the island if you don't do well. Listen, Winter, like I said, is wasting no time. She's already like found Raymond who is now giving her a foot massage. Somebody is always getting a foot massage and getting help with their shoes on that first episode. Now y'all know I like a man who will rub my feet, take my shoes off cause my feet hurt cause I came in here trying to be cute. And I ain't bring no flip flops or no cute little sandals for when I've been standing up all this time. And it's hot out there. They in Texas, it's hot outside. Why? I kept thinking, why are they all still outside and have not had the opportunity to go get no air? Now, this is when I thought that Denise might hang herself. Um, when she was with Rasheed, who seemed to be interested in her. And, you know, he was joking about the whole bug in the drink. Like, us alcoholics will kill it. Which is true. And if she was drunk enough, I know y'all didn't you pour a little out, take it out. But, uh, you know, she was like irritated at the fact that he made that joke. I don't think he was really expecting you to drink that. I think she wanted him to go and get her a drink like Calfani did for uh, Winter, I believe it was. And it didn't work out like that. And you know, he was just trying to lighten the mood and she felt that he was cocky. Did y'all think he was cocky with the um, whole uh, HBCU conversation? Y'all ain't never beat us. And you know what I'm saying? But she was, cause she said, I, I'm sure I beat your girls. I'm sure like, so, I mean, the competitive energy was the same. I didn't feel that he was cocky, but she did. And I just thought, this isn't a good start for you, Denise, babe. Uh, as gorgeous as you are, pull up. But then we also know she like uh, chocolate men. 
okay? She has a thing for Calfani, and her and Calfani clicked instantly on that swing. I was not a fan of her throwing her legs over him, and she just met him, but I am a fan of the conversation that they had. Like, it seemed that they connected um, on a level that will keep someone interested. Like, I want to know more about Denise. Like, she shared, she was vulnerable, and I don't know, sometimes you feel like some things are too soon and some things you need to just put out on the table. He did say uh, <laughs> to her, you know, are you just hard on the outside and soft in the inside? And she was like, yeah, I'm soft in the inside, but that's the, that's what we give off. It can be a turn off for some men all for us showing up with that strong energy. I ain't gonna take your shit energy right off the top it's the i'm it's the i have my walls up it's the defense mechanism because i don't know you and it takes a, a very confident man to say i'm gonna i'm gonna try because i see something with her so i think that she's gonna be a sweetheart but i also think that there's something there where she has her walls up and really to be ready for love you gotta release that a little bit you gotta come back and operate in your divine femininity. That does not mean be weak or be soft. That just means open up. You're on a show that say you ready to love. Okay, y'all. Now, Chris with this uh, Flamingo Peak suit on with his shirt out uh, says sex oozes out of his soul. I'm all like pours out of his soul and that uh, no woman can um, <laughs> resist him, baby. <laughs> I thought that was funny because I was like, unless you got like your pheromones and, and you got some kind of voodoo happening, I wouldn't have been attracted to you. It seemed like a bit much, but him and Naya seemed to have hit it off immediately. And I thought to myself, Naya, are you really sharing that you were meant to be a wife and a, and a mother? It wasn't him that she shared that to. Maybe it was someone else, but she did say it. And I thought, that is scare somebody. Like, just be like, hi, I'm Naya, and I'm a whatever your sign is. Like, you know what, I, I don't have any children. I'm a salon owner. You know, I like hiking. I like working. I don't know, keep it keep it cute. Like, I feel like that was too much. Um, but they seem to have hit it off very, very well. Um, it's, I love the fact that, listen, I'm so like all about grounding, especially when my energy is off, going out to my yard and putting my feet in the dirt and just connecting with the earth and grounding myself. I am a Virgo. I am an earth sign. And uh, like me and my ancestors, we out there in the grass chilling. Okay. It makes me feel better. And I thought that that was cute. And so maybe he isn't as superficial and as shallow as he, as KG smooth uh, seems to be. And uh, maybe him and Naya are going to hit it off. Right. But they need to hit it off with more than one person because you know how it goes. You get voted off the island. Listen, didn't I talk about Simone already? I, I said that she was making her rounds. Did I say that, honey? She wanted to know if everybody had a passport. She came in with like a set of questions. She's the one that has the threshold question. And it's like, if I'm not, if I don't like you, if I can't, if I don't want to see you naked, then I don't want to be bothered or something like that last week. But she go makes her rounds and has her list of questions because baby, finances is important. She ain't taking care of no man and you need to be able to travel. I don't have a problem with any of that. I think that you should know what it is that you want out of a relationship and what you want from your partner. But I think that asking the same questions, just think about this. If all the men get together and they start comparing notes and you didn't ask them all about a passport, it's not gonna look good. It's not gonna look good. But I have to commend you on uh, your ability to go and speak your truth, right? So Adriana, we find out she dated Rashid, honey, and ghosted him. She seemed like, eh. and you know, with his glasses on, he is he. I wouldn't date Rashid, the Rashid with his glasses on. He needs a different type of glasses. Those round glasses do him no good because he's actually a very attractive man. He's tall. He's lean. If you like thin men. Um, cause remember now the camera puts 10 pounds on you, but he looks good in a suit. He has a nice suit and, uh, they have a conversation. You know, she was like, I feel bad, but I'm glad to see him, 
again. So that alone right there gives her a head, a, a leg up. She already has a connection and he already likes her. He already said it to Tommy that he likes her. And they kind of discussed what may have went wrong and that they're glad to have another opportunity. Now, David and Danny, I thought they had hit it off really well, but it looks like she is the, um, what was her name? Started with an A. Was it an A? Y'all. Once the season is over, I literally forget the people's names. There are some people that make an impact on me and I remember, but there are others that don't. And I cannot think of her name, Ashita. They're putting her in the homegirl bucket. I like Danny. I like her authenticity. I like her uh, ability to be comfortable and relaxed. And I felt like her and David had hit it off. Like uh, with the whole uh, Buko, Buku, whatever. Country bougie, y'all remember? Mm-hmm. But I was sadly mistaken. Hold that thought. Oh, poor Sam. Sam, Sam the artist. Sam is 36. Sam is uh, less confident than the rest of the men. At least that is how it appears because he's kind of giving his pep, give, giving himself a pep talk. Like, okay, here we go. Let's go. You know, my mom always said that we were meant to be princes, but at some time, at some point you need to become a king. Well, yes, Sam, you would need to become a king, but prior to coming on ready to love, like you probably just needed to, you know, do some journaling and some self-reflection and some affirmations and shit before you got there. Uh, maybe got, you know, d did whatever you needed to, to do in order to shine as an, as a creative, you could be a little introverted and, um, he bored the ladies. Okay. He was very soft spoken, um, uh, very monotone, uh, he was uninteresting is what they were saying. And from what we saw, were you intrigued? Did you want to see more from him? You guys let me know down below in the comments if you felt like, you know, Sam is somebody you would deal with. Because different strokes for different folks. I would run right over Sam. I'm with Naya, okay? But I'm getting beside myself. Or am I? I could just mix it in. It's my review. So now when I see Alex and Brian talking and Alex says, to him immediately, how important is sex to you in a relationship? <sighs> okay, she's celibate for almost two years, right? I still don't think that that's the right question that you ask and you're getting to know. I, I don't, and I don't think that it's the right time to divulge that you're a celibate for two years. Yes, it is a badge of honor because you definitely have um, willpower. You, and you're definitely in control of who you are and yourself. But I don't think that that's a conversation that you have like on the first date. Like I'm, and this, you know, these are like meet and greets and I wouldn't be telling somebody, oh yeah, I've been celibate for two years. Cause uh, if the man ain't been celibate and if the man ain't patient, honey, you're going to be out. And so he, he, Brian said, you know, I've been celibate for about seven months. She said, yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. But I'm going to, I'm asking y'all, let me know down below in the comments. Do you think that uh, it was an appropriate time for her to divulge that she was celibate. Also that, um, about how important is sex in a relationship? Because as a woman, for me, sex is high up there. And I just don't think that that's a question that I personally would ask. But y'all let me know what you think down below in the comments. Now I like Joy and Jay together. I actually think they make a really cute couple. They have a little conversation, a little flirtation. Um, and I like them. That's all I wrote was that I like them. They have good chemistry. That's what I wrote. Now, I think that, um, <laughs> Raymond telling people that he had five kids would turn anybody off, especially when these people don't have children like, uh, Adriana, Alicia, Alicia's the thick beauty. Um, the only representation of the the size 12 and up that they have. But he tells Alicia and Alicia's looking like, mm, five kids and you a musician. I like that you wanna be open and honest and put everything out on the table. That's, that's nice, but are you sharing too much? And I didn't like that he was name dropping. Like to me, that was a turn off. Yeah, uh, you know, tour with Tank and I didn't seen it. You know, like I'm all like you and genuine. Like I'm all like, you would keep that to yourself. I don't care who you tour with. 
what is your character like? And for me, that was a turn off. The moment he started talking about who he toured with, I was like, you out, Raymond. You out, I don't, I don't like you. And get your side teeth fixed. It was funny watching Simone like kind of walk away from Raymond damn near mid sentence. Like I gotta, I, I, I gotta go get me some more water. Is that the, is that the line we're all using? Because Shay said that too to Sam. Let me, all this drinking we've been doing, let me give me some water. I was like, oh, y'all ain't got no, no, no cool. Like at least be like, I gotta give me some water, babe. You want some water? and go and never come back. He might say he wanted some water and that might've gave him a brownie point, but y'all it's a piece of work, okay? Don't play no games though, don't play no games. <laughs> I'm just kind and kind of let you down easily with a smile and a kiki key, key, key and my attention is over at this fine brother over here. Like that would be me. I don't, one of y'all said y'all thought Anthony was attractive. I don't agree. I don't agree and I think that now he is grasping for straws as he is massaging Denise's feet. Um, and I don't even remember him talking to her but for that few minutes, like he was like, I got to pull out all stops. She been walking around barefoot, like, you know what would be sexy to me? You wiping my feet off and then rubbing my feet, <laughs> especially if you just met me. Especially, listen, I have dated people, right? Uh, or let me, let me say, I have met people like at a club and we laughed and talked and joked and I needed to find a seat to sit down and they rubbed my feet. But that was like after hours of talking. I don't see anything wrong with it. I just think like he was grasping, straw, grasping at straws at this particular point. Okay, so then we get to Tommy. He comes out and he start asking his questions like, okay, who are you feeling and who are you not? And the funny thing is, there is no runaway. Like last season, Alex, everybody was like, Alex, 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 Alex. There is no runaway. It looks like everybody has an opportunity to get to know somebody and really find love, if that's what they're gonna do. Um, I ain't hear Shay name mentioned at all, so I feel like she'll be out soon if she don't make herself known. Um, who else's name didn't I hear a lot of? I didn't hear a lot of Chris's name. Only only person said Chris was Naya. Uh, I'm just trying to look because honestly, how am I gonna remember? I mean, I wrote down some kind of like brainstorming graph, web graph or something. <laughs> trying to figure out who said what, but I'm all like, that's just a waste. Because what it all boils down to is the fact that uh, for the men, the bottom two were Sam and Raymond. And for the women, it was Simone and Danny. And honestly, when he said Danny's name, I was like, what the entire fuck? Like, Danny seems like the only person that was really picked from a lot of people off the street. You know what I'm saying? Those other, everybody else seems like they may have some type of ties with, you know, an agent, a social media agent or something. I need one. Are y'all one? Because hook me up. They were saying that Danny gave off the homegirl vibe and I just thought she gave off the cool chick vibe, the girl you could have a good time with. Maybe she wasn't sexy enough, I don't know, but I, I thought she looked cute, I thought her hair was nice. I was like, okay, Danny, come through, Danny. But I guess she didn't make a good enough impression because Danny is out. And we know Sam is out because Sam didn't do well. He was striking out with everybody he was talking to, even nice uh, Alex. She was talking to him and she was like, well, maybe, maybe it's just me and I get bored easily, but um, we gonna have to see how this plays out. There was a lot going on for me to try to capture. Like I said, we won't really have anything focused until they start really pairing off and really getting to know one another. So you guys let me know down below in the comments. Share with me what you thought about this episode. Tell me about the things that I've forgotten because I know I have. Thank you so much for watching my review of Ready to Love, season three, episode number two, Last Resort. Don't forget to click the subscribe button if it's your first time here uh, and hit the notification bell even if it's not your first time here, but you need to be notified that I'm uploading the video, right? So hit that, hit that notification bell. Also, click the like button. Share this with your friends. Uh, tell them that girl crazy. She just be saying whatever she feel. It's my opinion and it's not meant to hurt anyone's feelings. Um, but listen, dialogue is everything. I'm here for it. I love you in real life and I want every good thing that God has in store for you even if you don't know what that is for yourself. Hugs and kisses and lots of love. 
I'll catch you on the next review.